Rome is a general purpose tool for thinking and for getting all of your thoughts and tasks uh, well organized. So it's really important for us that the things you're going to do in Rome, you're going to be able to do fast. And one of the ways that we can help you get your ideas out quicker is by having a lot of uh, really fast key commands. Now, many of these things you, you don't need to do if you're not this type of person who uses key commands. Um, things like you know making something into do you don't you can you can use these uh, a lot of our our features you can use by uh, um, left clicking on a block um, or like left clicking on many blocks um, you can also pretty easily drag and drop things around um, but if you're because it's a writing tool you're going to be doing a whole lot of typing so um, Rome has a number of key commands. The most basic thing to remember is that, um, you know, at the end of a line, if you hit enter, it'll create a new block. Um, if you delete um, on a uh, let's on a block that is a sibling of another block, it will it'll merge those two things together, um, and yeah, tab and shift tab will, will move things around and then command shift up and down will allow you to restructure things. Um, and then if I have it at the right, th now this only works when they're um, at the same level in the hierarchy. Uh, like if they're, if they're nested at the same level as some siblings, then you can, you can repurpose them, but then you can use shift and, um, uh, and sh uh, shift tab and tab to move things around. Um, but so those are the, the sort of uh, enter, um, you know, and enter will, will move you back if there's, if there's no text there. If you want to create a blank line, you just are going to have to hit space um, and create uh, to, to create some white space there. Um, so those are the, the most basic ones for um, moving things around. But uh, there are another uh, handful of triggers that might be useful. Um, command up and down will um, allow you to collapse bullets as you're moving through. And if the, the, the bullet point is collapsed, it's, it's easier to, to move through things. Um, so, uh, and then um, command uh, period and comma, which are the, the also the, the um, you know, they, they make more sense when you think about it for zooming um, when you see that, you know, that's, that's what they kind of look like. Um, you can zoom in on things by hitting uh, command on Mac um, or control on, on PCs or Linux. Um, uh, command period and comma will allow you to zoom. Um, but also you can, you know, control Z um, or, uh, or command, sorry, command Z and command shift Z. Um, will allow you to undo things and shift um, it's not going to work here because um, this thing is expanded but um, but shift down will also multi-select for you so you can select a, a number of items there we go at once and then you can do things like move all those items um, back and forth with uh, with your tab and shift tab um, uh, so that those are the basic key commands. Then the last thing to know is that um, so Rome makes extensive use of autocomplete uh, because we want to make it really easy for you to reference notes which exist elsewhere in your database. Um, so if you're inside uh, double brackets, you know you can quickly find um, uh, other pages that you might be looking for. Now, I personally, inside the, these autocompletes, you can use the up and down arrow um, because I like to keep my fingers on the home row and, you know, previously used things like Vim. Um, we also have control uh, J and K will also move you through these autocompletes. Um, so uh, if, for example, I am here uh, creating a you know, video, uh, I, I realize that video for creating to-dos is actually a to-do. I can hit um, slash, this will open up our 
um, our, you know, helper menu for Rome's special features. Um, and I can just make it a to-do like that. Um, yeah, those are some of the basic key commands. Uh, and then I will um, uh, give, yeah, those are, those are the basic key commands. I'll also show off one um, other thing, which is that uh, clicking on links will bring you to those pages. Um, and inside those pages, you can see all the mentions of that page. So basically, uh, every page collects the links that are pointed towards it. So you can, uh, unlike, you know, on the web where when you visit a page, you don't see the other ideas which are connected there. You have to explicitly create the links going backwards. Um, in Rome, you know, we want you to be able to, uh, to traverse your own thoughts um, any which way. So it's sometimes very helpful to see that, you know, a, a page has been mentioned um, from other pages. Uh, and... But if I, if I want to investigate something, but I don't want to lose my, oh, uh, I, I don't want to, you know, or I want to go off on a tangent and, and write about something, but I don't want to lose my place, I can also shift click on a link and this will give me uh, that page. Um, it'll also show me the number of mentions for it. So I can click that and I can, I can get mentions um, or the page itself opened in the sidebar. Um, so... Yeah, those are those are some of the key, um, the key navigation um, aspects of Rome.